setbacks, and I, I guess I'd first ask you about get, bringing Derek in, in and your background with him. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, bringing Derek in and, and uh, you know, a guy that has some experience and some, uh, you know, background in, in the system and knows the terminology and be able to come in and, and he's familiar enough with things, be able to help, you know, the younger guys and, and uh, you know, and, and be able to step right in. How would you envision his role? Is it your idea to you know, let him kind of learn or, or, or have these young guys maybe start off early on? Well, I think that they, they're going to be able to learn a lot from him. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go and how things develop. I think right now it's just so early. You know, it's hard to get a, a true assessment of where we're at. You know, we've only been at it a few days. And, you know, I think that uh, overall, you know, guys are working hard. We're, we're throwing a lot at them. Um, you know, we got a lot of work to do to get in before we get into preseason and obviously the season. Um, so we're, we're demanding an awful lot, and I, I really like the way the guys have responded to that. Rob, how different is this system for these guys that have been here for a while? How much are they really have? Yeah, it's it's all brand new. I mean, it's a brand new language, you know, brand new terminology. So uh, you know, they're really just kind of system to system. That's the way it goes. And so they're you know they're having to learn the alphabet from from A to Z. Cam obviously knows how to tuck it and run. And he's something doing that. Are you going to encourage him to use that athleticism, or do you want to rein him in and keep him back in the pocket? No, I think that you know that's a special talent that he has. So, you know, that's um, you know something that he brings to the table. That you know, hopefully he'll be able to do that a lot. And, and certainly, you know, the important thing is that he's doing it in the right situations and uh, making good decisions. And part of those decisions is going to be to run. Coach, does, does the evaluation process improve when you get the guys in pads? Definitely, definitely. And, and uh, you know, the evaluation process is improving since we've had them for these last couple of days. You know, uh, instead of looking at the media guide and kind of seeing what these guys look like, and all of a sudden they're here, and, oh, that's what you look like in real person. You know? So it's, you know, it's not only a process for them learning, it's also a process for us coaches learning them and, you know, the things that we see and, you know, what they can do. and. And uh, you know, and trying to match and adjust our system to fit their strengths as well. How different is this going to look from the offense last year? Dramatically, I mean, the other end of the rainbow for the thing. Well, I mean, that's hard to say. I, you know, just looking at tape, I really wasn't looking at the schemes as much. And I know that obviously last year there was a lot of injuries and those kind of things. So, um, you know, but but you know, going back to my background and obviously. Uh, having spent the time with Norv Turner and, and that being a great time in San Diego, um, you know, that, that those influences will be part of it. And I think that, you know, in my philosophy, we're going to adjust to what our guys can do well. And that's part of this process is learning that right now. Coach, you know Ron Rivera better than we do. When he gets real intense and, and jumps somebody for jumping off sides, is that a side to him that he's going to bring to the table here? Absolutely. He, you know, the intensity that he had as a player, you know, carries over as a coach. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, just knowing Ron or having, you know, gotten to know Ron as an assistant coach, you could see right away. And, you know, those things are the kind of traits and attributes that you knew would make him a great head coach and are going to make him a great head coach. How do you think your history with Derek factored into the team being open to bringing him on board? You know, I think uh, just looking around, uh, you know, and obviously you have to speak to Marty more about that, um, but, you know, just a veteran guy that has some exposure and, you know, knows the language, you know, that, that we'd be able to, to help out particularly in the meeting room and, you know, bring some stability in there. And just a guy that has some experience that's, that'll, that'll help those guys. Rob, he had that big year under you in Cleveland. What was the difference uh, in his game the last couple of years when his kind of numbers and his play fell off? You know, I really can't speak to that. I didn't, you know, I haven't really seen that, and I wasn't there. And, and uh, you know, I think he'd be able to answer that a little bit better. Yeah. You know? Well, what do you see in, out of him, and you know, in his big year in 07? Well, you know, I mean, Derek, Derek brings, uh, you know, he has a, a good arm. He's really good anticipator. Um, you know, he uh, he just came in. He worked hard at it. He understood the offense, and uh, you know, he just got better and better and better that year. And, he got on a roll, and uh, you know, and a lot of times that's what it's all about. You know, we get, we want to get guys, get guys on a roll, and uh, you know, feeling good about the things you're doing, and try to match it to what they can do, and and you know, so that you can put them in the best position to be successful. Are you making too big of a deal out of how much you use the tight ends? Probably. I, we're gonna we're gonna use it. We're gonna have to use everybody. So, um, 
you know, I think right now it's, it's nice to see Jeremy out there on, on the field and competing the way he does. I mean, that's what he brings to the table every day. And Steve Smith, the same thing. Those guys have been great out here as, as leaders and competitive. And, you know, and they're, uh, they're working at it harder than anybody. I mean, it's, it's tough to learn a new system. You know, it's tough for guys and for, especially for veteran guys and, you know, for them to, to be as open and uh, as positive and uh, you know, show the leadership they are is, is, uh, is special and it speaks a lot for them as, as people. Rob, at, at Ron's first press conference, so very early on, he mentioned the importance of identifying some good tight ends. I mean, why are they so vital in, in what you want to do? I mean, in this league, you know, you're always, it really comes down to matchups a lot of times. And, um, you know, we, you know, there's great receivers, great corners, um, but those tight ends inside are a tough matchup. I mean, you, you put a linebacker on them, you put a safety on them. So, um, you know, the kind of guys that and you see it more and more becoming more and more popular to have those type of guys that you can play as almost as a receiver, as another receiver, and yet they can still block and get in there and, and uh, you know, get their nose dirty a little bit. Yeah, you know, I mean, like I said, really right now is, you know, this is day three and, and we're going in and looking at the film and, you know, trying to assess these guys and, hey, okay, this is kind of going to fit here. And right now there's a lot of offense and we'll zero in on what fits the most and then, you know, really, uh, uh, kind of go that direction, but uh, you know I think it's important to play to your guys' strengths. And, you, know, you can't always fit a square peg in a round hole, or however that saying goes. But but uh, so you know we're trying to trying to be able to do that. We have some run plays in if we can. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>